Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Just wanted to touch base again and do my morning video. Um, this is Belinda coming to you live again from DIY Life Studios, preparing for DIY Business Studios. Pretty excited about that. I just wanted to touch base on, if you've been following me, actually, you know that you, that Basically, I'm blogging about my creative life, my experiences, my family, um, how organization has really been changing my life, which is a um, top, top, top priority right now. I'm kind of obsessed, which is kind of weird because I never was uh, for many years. I just kind of winged it and things worked. And now that I'm actually planning things through my Google Calendar, it is working like a charm. So... Some of the things that I added and I wanted to touch base on today was the importance of date nights. So I have a family of five um, and actually six. My oldest daughter doesn't live with us, but here at home we have three daughters um, who are ages eight to 16. My oldest is 28, so she's off on her own, doing her own wonderful thing. And, um, and my husband, so we have two little dogs. Um, they're a big part of our lives as well. And I found that up until I started to actually take notice of this whole planning thing, um, we were sporadically doing date nights, uh, family date nights, and very um, seldom doing spouse nights. So by doing this and adding it to the calendar, then we can actually have um, what we call daddy-daughter date nights. That's a tongue twister. And mommy date nights. Um, so we actually take time to spend that one-on-one -on -one with each one of our kids and give them that attention and that um, time to listen to them, to connect, to bond to them. And it's fun. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be anything super, super special. Um, just special enough so that they can feel that they are the ones in the spotlight at the moment. So yesterday, um, my husband actually kind of did all date nights uh, with all of us, which was kind of fun. So we had talked about some ideas to kind of, you know, bond and connect with the kids. And one of them was that he can actually just get up early and kind of spontaneously take the, one of the girls to out for a Starbucks run, uh, you know, 630 in the morning or something like that. Um, and we talked about this earlier this week and he actually did it yesterday, which is kind of cool. My, um, 12 year old, she is usually an early bird. She gets up at six o'clock, if not five 30, she's kind of on her own. She likes the quiet time. She likes, um, the focus and the, the morning, um, just to herself. So it's kind of cool. My husband is also an early bird. So he got up early and he was going to take her to go get the Starbucks run. Well, my eight-year-old kind of heard noise as they're waking up and um, she was invited to go too. So it was really, really cool to see how excited they were to have their morning date with dad. Um, and dad took them out to Starbucks and then there was a donut shop next door. So instead of getting the breads at Starbucks, they got them at the donut shop, which was fine. One time, you know, in a while that they get a donut, I'm okay with that. So that was really special for them. When they came back, I was in meditation, but they ran up the stairs and they were just so excited to tell me, how awesome it was and you know what guys it was only like a 35 minute run so there's a store here not too far from us and they so they just went there and they just had their time and it was really 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 fun so that was really important because that created a really nice big bond with them they were so excited they had to come and run and tell me all about it not only that it kind of lasted throughout the day because they went to school all pumped and excited and connected and motivated and they shared it with their friends and their teacher how special this time was and it was just a 30 minute run so really really important mega mega bonding points right there for dad yay and um so after he came back we were kind of working on our own kind of thing. I was working on my studio. He was working outside. And then um, he sent me a text. Hey, you want to go have breakfast? And I was like, 
yeah, let's go do it. So we went to Panera and had our morning time. We were there for a few hours. We were able to connect and touch base on a couple things that we wanted to talk about, um, organize our schedules coming up, um, and kind of just plan and dream and have fun and connect. It was really fun. And then um, my oldest daughter, 16, she was, or the one at home, um, she was kind of you know, doing her own thing throughout the day. And then I thought, well, hey, your dad leaves tomorrow for work. So um, maybe you can have your, your date night with dad. And so they planned it. He finished up his things that he needed to do. And then so 7.30, they went to go catch a movie. And they got to see Murder on the Orient Express something like that. And um, that was a really nice time. So it was kind of fun to see that adding it to the schedule really made a difference. And it was kind of sp spontaneous and sporadic, but it really, really worked. So the cool thing about this is that when you do use your calendar, then you can actually plan out all these important uh, dates and events and things that you might not think might be important, but just that 30 minute outing or you know going to that park um, on park day now which we've added to our calendar um, really really makes a difference I've noticed just in this week that we've been doing more organization on different levels that the girls are excited to get up in the mornings they're asking me what's happening with our schedule what's happening with our day what's happening today so that I know kind of what's going on how awesome is that? Like they want to be in tune with today's events. And um, like today, there is a movie uh, night for the kids over at the school. So they're going to watch a Peanuts movie, um, have popcorn and do crafts or whatever. And it kind of just becomes a mommy time from six to nine in the evening. School started doing that as a fundraiser and it's really paying off for the school, which is really cool. And of course, it brings me some time to connect to do whatever I need to do. So anyways, I just wanted to talk and touch base really quickly about the importance of setting up your date nights. And um, so my husband actually works out of town and he's out quite frequently um, doing jobs, um, it, you know, different places. And this is um, something that keeps us together and he can keep looking at the daily schedule on his calendar, on his phone, on his tablet and he knows exactly what's happening on that day even though he's not physically at home for that night so anyways really really cool um, really really sold on all this organization and now it's spilling into of course the next big thing which is our finances which is really exciting creating some new worksheets and some new um, ideas inspired of course by Jordan Page really excited about that thank you Jordan um, and, and that's it. So this is my new video. Um, trying to get them up on Thursdays. Today is Friday, so we missed a little day. Eh, Got to be flexible is what it is. I did have some questions about my backgrounds. Um, where did I get them? They are from Amazon. I'm a big, big Amazon shopper. And um, so that's where I found this one. This is just the rustic brick uh, layout, but I do have uh, the doors. There's another one that I did with the doors and I have another one that's coming as well. So check it out. They're not that expensive. They're fairly, fairly affordable. I did end up buying the frame that goes around it so it, it can easily clip and it could, you know, just kind of be used. Um, but it does create a really nice background, professional, and um, create some interest. And, and anyways, it looks good. So with that, I'm wishing you a fantastic, fabulous, fit, and just wonderful Friday. And I hope that everything comes out wonderful for you today. And wishing you a fantastic weekend. But of course, I'll be back with another video. So this is Belinda signing out. Have a good day.